we are about to go book shopping. Hey everyone, welcome back to another cozy autumn bookstore vlog. Y'all, we're going book shopping. And we're not just going any book shopping, y'all. We're going fall book shopping. Y'all already know when September hits, it's fall for Yolanda's journaling. I love how the weather gets cooler, how the mornings are cooler. Um, and so like I can like put on a, a sweat a lightweight sweater or I can put on one of my um lightweight blazers um and possibly you know put on some booties not boots but booties so I love the fall cozy type weather that we're having now um so today i decided to go book shopping of course you know i'm going to books a million that is my favorite spot to go so we're going fall book shopping y'all join me in my fall book shopping vlog and as you already know i am a coffee girl so when i get in there I will pick some type of coffee, um, hopefully like a pumpkin spice type coffee. I'm not sure, but with it being the season of cozy autumn type uh, weather, I'll probably pick something that has some kind of pumpkin spice in it. I'm not sure, but when I get there, I will get my coffee for this morning and we will go book shopping. The slow day, the calm and the night will unfold. Never thought that I would be traveling this road. The people keep missing, the clouds seem to fade. And every occasion I whisper your name. I'm happy to hear that you'll still be around. I thought you were leaving without a sound In my little world you are both pros and cons It's hard to admit when you feel you don't belong So tell me are you still in Right by your side with arms Even if you don't want You wrote your name in my heart some thrillers a romance and like a book talk from books a million 
is beautiful right here, y'all. The slow day, the calm, and the night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. Keeps missing, the clouds seem to fade, and every occasion I whisper your name. I'm happy to hear that you'll still be around. I thought you were leaving without a sound in my little. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, it is the next day, and I would like to share with you guys the books that I got from Books A Million. And there are other two, two other places that I got books from that I want to share with you guys as well, but let's just share the books that I got from Books A Million. I got four, four books from Books A Million. I got two thrillers, two romance, pretty much. Um, my two thriller books. The first one is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Um, it's a thriller. It looks like the person that wrote The Silent Patient um, wrote or have something to do with this book. But it says, be careful what you watch for. One day on the lake, Casey saves Catherine from drowning and the two strike up a buddy friendship. But the more they get to know each other the, and the longer Casey watches, it becomes clear that Catherine and Tom's marriage isn't as perfect as it appears. When Catherine suddenly vanishes, Casey immediately suspects Tom for foul play. What she doesn't realize is that there's more to the story than meets the eye. And that shocking secrets can lurk beneath the surfaces. So I love a good thriller this time of the year. Especially with Halloween coming up and everything. I love a good thriller so I'll be excited to read that one. My next thriller that I got y'all is a Stephen King's book. And I have not read a Stephen King's book in a long time. By looking at this book I most likely will get... Um, another book from St Stephen King called the called Mr. Mercedes because apparently Holly steals from Mr. Mercedes, so I did get Holly. Y'all seem like y'all a little close, so I did get Holly from Stephen King, and to my understanding, it's pretty much um, a reoccurring, um, a reoccurring person that Stephen King has in his books. And she was supposed to be going to, I think, like her mom's funeral or something. But somebody called and their child was missing. And she worked at this agency. And her their child was missing, but her co-worker got COVID and all that. So she ended up taking the, um, the case of the missing child. And I think it ends up like it's too... Um, professors, it's a married couple. It's a married couple, Rodney and Emily Harris, who they are suspecting that has taken the child. So I'm very interested in reading that thriller. And then these other two are pretty much kind of like romance books. This is the second book to the Hearthorn Legacy. The Hearthorn's Games is the first book. And I did pick up this book because I saw it on somebody else's channel, but I did not realize that this is book two to the series. So I will not start reading this one until I get book two, book one. Then I'll start with book two. But it's The Hawthorne's Legacy. And it looks like it's basically a romance mystery type um, book. It looks like... Uh, the Hawthorne's grandfather left all his inheritance to a total stranger and not his granddaughters and his grandsons. They're upset about it and they are trying to get the person that Avery, that he left his um, billionaire money to, out of the picture pretty much. So 
I'm very interested to pick up book one because book two seems like it's going to be really good. So I'm pretty sure if I read book one of this, then book two will make more sense to me. And the cover of this book really caught my attention when I walked by it. I see it that it's a used book, but it is was in very, very good shape. But it's a vampire book. It's called Courts of the Vampire Queen. I pretty much figured that I would enjoy this book because I love Twilight. So I was like, okay, so this vampire book, I really would like this vampire book. So pretty much to me, it looks like it's basically about a girl named Mia and a, another vampire named Malachi. They were actually joined together for reasons of her father, but it actually happened to the point of that um, she actually really liked it, this guy, and he wasn't as bad as, as she thought he was, and he actually got her to a point that she can get from up under her father. So, I guess she really just did not like her father, but the author of this book is Katie Roberts, and I'm sorry, y'all, the author of the... Hawthorne's Legacy is Jennifer Barnes. And then, of course, Stephen King for Holly. And then, like I said, Riley Sager for um, The House Across the Lake. And I did get two other books that day, but they did not come from Books A Million. Um, it was just the last two volumes to the Heartstopper. They were on sale at Target. So I ended up stopping there and getting volume 3 and volume 4. I have volume 1 and volume 2 up there on the shelf. I thought I would I saw these books in Books a Million y'all but I was like mm, that's not my style until I start following somebody on YouTube and they rant and raved about this book and I tried it out and I was like I gotta get all the volumes to it now i looked at the back of volume four and it looks like there will be a volume five coming out soon so i will be looking forward to getting that one as well i went to pay a bill the other day y'all and i have been seeing on instagram by looking at other people's feed about something called a little free library a little free bookshelf i found one Yes, I found one in the city that I, that I live in, and it just happened to be a mistake, y'all. And when I saw it, my heart melted. I was like, oh my God, we have one. We have one. So I ended up getting three books out of there, and I'm just so excited because I now I have a place to go and get books, and I also have a place to take my books that I really don't want that was given to me or anything like that. So I got The Yellow Face, which I already have this book, but I will be get, doing a giveaway with this book at the end of this vlog. So stay tuned for the um stay tuned for the um rules for that. But I got the cutting teeth by Chandler Baker. Um it looks like a mystery thriller book it says it's not for sale so um i don't know if it's out on the market yet but look they're very interest interesting i got it out of the little free library and then this one the last chance it looks like it's about a cruise ship two people went on a cruise ship and um they had a really good time one night and they woke up the next morning and the spouse was gone like everybody was gone from off of the ship. So I thought this would be a very interesting book to read. So let's get to the giveaway rules. The giveaway rules are the first person that comments on this vlog and subscribes to my channel. So you have to comment and be a new subscriber. I will inbox you, I will reply to your message on the vlog, and then I will get your information, inbox you, and I will send you this book for free. So again, the first person who comments on my vlog, and subscribes to my vlog, 
I will respond to your comment and then we will inbox each other exchange shipping information and I will ship you yellow face for free y'all if y'all have made it this far in this video thank you for joining me thank you for being here thank you for clicking on my channel if you are a new subscriber hey y'all if you are a returning subscriber how y'all doing if you are just a viewer and you have not subscribed to my channel yet there's a little icon down there that has my beautiful picture on it if you click on that icon and click that notification bell YouTube will let you know every time Yolanda's journaling upload another video. And you will never not know when I'm on here. Okay? It won't take you nothing but a little bit of time just to click that little bell and click that little notification button and you'll become a valuable family member of Yolanda's journaling. Until next time, bye.